Using the spinner below, what is the probability of landing on an odd? To find the probability of an event, we compare the favorable number of outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So for the probability of spinning an odd, let's first determine the total number of outcomes. Well, looking at our spinner, notice how it's divided into eight equal sized sections, each section numbered from one through eight, and therefore there are eight total possible outcomes. And now we'll consider the favorable number of outcomes, which would be the sections with odd numbers, and therefore one is favorable because one is odd, three is favorable because three is odd, five is odd, so five is favorable, and so is seven. Seven is odd, so seven is favorable. These are the favorable outcomes. Notice how there are one, two, three, four favorable outcomes which means the probability of spinning an odd is four-eighths, but this does simplify, there's a common factor of four, four-eighths simplifies to one-half. So the probability of spinning an odd is one-half, but probability is often expressed as a decimal and a percentage, so let's also show that. We should recognize that one-half is equivalent to 0 0.5 or five-tenths. If we didn't recognize this, of course, we could divide one divided by two equals point five. To convert to a percentage, we would multiply by one hundred and add a percent sign, or move the decimal point to the right two places and add a percent sign, which would give us fifty percent. So if the probability of spinning an odd is one half, this means theoretically we expect to roll an odd number one time out of every two spins. Having a probability of 50% means we expect to land on an odd 50% of the time, or 50 times out of 100 spins. I hope you found this helpful. Using the spinner below, what is the probability of landing on a multiple of three? To determine the probability of an event, we compare the favorable number of outcomes to the total number of outcomes. So for the probability of landing on a multiple of three, let's first consider the total number of outcomes. Well, looking at the spinner, notice how there are eight equal size sections numbered from one through eight, and therefore there are eight total outcomes. And now to determine the favorable number of outcomes, we want to determine how many of these are multiples of three. So three is a multiple of three. The next multiple of three would be six. The next multiple of three would be nine, but there is no nine. So notice how there are only two favorable outcomes, three and six, and therefore the probability of landing on a multiple of three is two-eighths, and two-eighths does simplify. We have a common factor of two. Two-eighths simplifies to one-fourth. We often see probability expressed as a decimal or a percentage, so let's also show those. We should recognize one-fourth is equivalent to 25 hundredths, or 0 0.25. Of course, if we don't recognize this, we can convert a fraction to a decimal by dividing. One divided by four is equal to 0.25. And now to convert to a percentage, we multiply by 100 and add a percent sign, or move the decimal point to the right two places and add a percent sign. So this is equal to 25%. So if the probability is one-fourth, this means theoretically we expect to land on a multiple of three, one out of every four spins. As a percentage, we expect to land on a multiple of three 25 percent of the time, or 25 times out of 100. I hope you found this helpful.